Hey guys, and welcome back to L.A. Noir, a marriage made in heaven. Thank you for tuning in. Really been uh, enjoying the crap out of this game, as you all should know. And I don't know what just happened, but that's a hit and run. <laughs> well, welcome. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there. See if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. The mouthpiece store strips off me at the grand jury. Hit and run vehicle. Out. Now the DA wants my head. Person of interest, hit and run victim, race cafe. Stuff. Hey, that's my name. Cases you have unlocked and be access uh, for replay via the cases section of the main menu. But yeah, if you guys want more LA Noir and you're enjoying the series, believe it or not, it may not be significant to you, but that one second that it takes to drop a like lets me know that you want to keep watching more and it helps out the channel. So you don't have to do it now by the end of the video, of course. Depend, maybe you don't like the video at the end of it or something. I, I don't know. But uh, here we go. Episode three, hit and run case. Let's do this. Straight on. Put on the sirens, because today I'm feeling kind of crazy. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. And Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes position. Oh, I'll and convince him to let it go. <laughs> How do you do that? I'll give him something better. Anna Rodriguez is the, 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 the lady from the last case. I really like how they do that. They talk about the previous cases. And one of you guys told me not to fast travel so much because there's a lot of important things that are being said as you drive. And as you can see right there. Oh, dear. She saw something. Detectives, over here. Really? No shit. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Thick as a white male named Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar. Her name is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. Life back in the days was just so much more organic. Just, I don't know, man. You play this game and you just, you see how much better life was. Even though right now we're seeing really shit things happen because, you know, we're, we're cops. Part of the LAPD, but, uh, yeah. Phelps, you should take a look at the body. Poor guy didn't stand a chance. All right. Should we take a look at the hat first? Maybe there's something on the hat that we can kind of scoop up. Nope. So before we want to speak to suspects or... Landed on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. Bystanders, we want to make sure we look at all the clues we possibly can. Okay, so we're going to start up at the head. Right. No sign of trauma at the head, except for when he landed. Okay. Now how about let's go from left to right? Let's take a look at his well, his right arm. Okay. You can see a bit of a trauma there. Let's go to the left arm. Same deal. Okay, that's obviously upon impact, upon falling on the concrete, the pavement. I'm gonna go down below. We have a letter. Lester Patterson, and dear Mr. Patterson, it is with great pleasure that we acknowledge the receipt of your application 14F and pre approval has been granted to raise the weekly premium on your life insurance policy from $370 per week to $590. Per week, this raise became effective on January 1st, 1947, where our standard veteran care policy entitled you to a lump sum payout of $10 in the event of your untimely death or permanent incapacitation. 
So this this is weird because this new plan secures your beneficiaries a sum of 16,000. One of his family members killed him. We at California, fire and uh fire and life, thank you and wish you good health and security for your future. Addison has life insurance. Huh. How convenient, huh? No, we already checked that. We checked that already. Check the left flank. His right flank. We've got a wallet here. Lester Patterson. Perfect. New clue. We'll notify next of kin. Okay, next of kin is... Uh, well, that's his address. Okay. Got some cash. Oh, that's the old $1 bill. I don't know if it's the same. I don't think so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Should have taken the money, Cole. Damn it. You know what you can do with two bucks? A whole lot. In the 1940s. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so... What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now... I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. No, I never thought about that. So it looks like this is where he got... Or no, he, he got dragged all the way from over there. Holy cow. He skidded all the way from here. Well, he traveled a good 20 feet. Jesus. That is a bad hit. Unless he got dragged. It didn't look like that on the video. Oh, dude, that is just crazy. So he went from here all the way over here. I don't know. I'm trying to like calculate in my head what the hell happened here. Let's go look at clue B. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Catch all the good ones, Phelps. Okay, these are the tire, tire marks. Maybe they tried to so break. The driver managed to break before the impact. So how the hell? Okay. Um, it's my partner. What do we got here? Do we have any evidence? Any clues? It's all yours, detective. Hold on, I'm not done yet, pal. I am not done yet. I'm going to see if there's anything else here on the floor. The music is still playing. Okay. That's our car. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. You know what I mean? Let's see back here. Was there anything in the alleyway? It came from inside the store or the bar, if you will. Let's see, we've got another... Oh! Oh! A knife covered in blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit-and-run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. My ass, a hit-and-run. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Okay, so now we've got a. Uh, now we've got things to look forward to here in the alleyway. This is getting a little bit more interesting than we thought. And every case here is always, always intriguing. It's never enough when you look at the first. I don't think this is going to help us. At the first location of the accident or the incident. So I'm going to see if there's anything else back here that probably could have happened maybe maybe there's some sort of fight back here i do feel like he got murdered maybe by one of his family members because he got the uh life insurance and as you can see due to the life insurance they're entitled to possibly or not possibly they're entitled to money <laughs> all right let me give me a second here i'm gonna go up here like a 
fucking Batman and see if I can find something. Maybe we can spot something from over here. Hmm. Oh, I don't think so. No more music playing, so... Guess it's time for us to go. Olive oil comes from olives? Where does baby oil come from? Oh, we've got a newspaper here. Okay. Another one of these. Let's check this out. Shrink to the stars promises mental breakthrough. Courtney, come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can unfortunately be very long term. So many of the patients here are addicts, doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the problem. Then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. Hmm. Okay. Newspapers collected. I don't want to talk to this guy just yet. I feel like every time I walk by here, There's no more music playing, so we're good. All right, nothing else. Here we go. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Eyewitness reports. She seems calm, okay. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Argument overheard. Okay. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Okay, suspect vehicle description. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Okay. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. Seems fair. Okay. Arguments overheard. I think she's telling the truth. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. thing is we don't have evidence to say I'm gonna go back cop why are you holding out on us miss Perry I'm sorry I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers I'd like to get my picture in the paper I'm trying to find work as an actress and hmm. things look pretty difficult cough it up sister we don't have all night <laughs> the people arguing they were husband and wife I could tell by what she was yelling intimate things very embarrassing for the man. I see. Got him all right. You, Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. 
You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. All right, so now that we've got the evidence and we've got the intel from the lady, we can speak to this guy, which I know he's probably going to end up trying to lie to us. We're not going to let it go by that the easy. LAPD. How can I help, detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. Last question in with the uh, hit and run incident. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Okay, we got it. So the owner was here. Association with victim. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Okay, seems to be selling, selling the truth. Not one of your favorite customers. Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Hmm. Okay, so they were definitely here both drinking. Something happened. A witness overheard an argument. Does it have Lester to do with the insurance? There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Lester and Lorna. I think there's more to the story. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo? The owner. Huh. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Uh, who knows? I just served the drinks. I think you're lying, dude. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. So, is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. There it is. There it is. Thanks for. I know what happened. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. I know what happened. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. I think I know what happened. Lester gets <clears throat> a life insurance. The owner of this bar doesn't have any money, as you can tell, based on the evidence and, well, not the evidence, but the clues this guy, the bartender, just gave us. So what do they do? Lorna and Lester kill. Uh, Lorna and the bartender, uh, the owner of the bar kill Lester to take his money for the life insurance. I mean, that, that makes perfect sense to me. Is this not our vehicle? No, it's not. It's the other one. I think that's what happened. Honestly. There's just, I mean, I guess we'll find out. Let's see. Let's go. Let's make a phone call. <clears throat> We've got a phone here. We can definitely make a quick call. I don't know what, what, what we can get from this, but. You got it, mate. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. There it is. <laughs> Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, <clears throat> 738 West Temple Street. Thank you. Perfect. 
Looks like we caught a break on this one. Alright, so now we've got two places that we could possibly go to, right? Patterson Residence. Let's go to the pa Patterson Residence there first. And then we'll go to the next one. Right here. Oh, right here? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is the crime scene, damn it. You need to take the next left. So the wife was there when it happened, but then left the scene. You're right. That's pretty unusual behavior. Next right. She could be in shock. Nah. Some people do some strange things in the war after the body's done. Maybe. Maybe she doesn't give a fuck. According to the patrons, her old man was a piece of work. You don't think, Phelps, the guy was run over. So it worked out well for this broad. So what? Maybe she deserved to catch a break. Who knows? Take the next left. I don't know, man. I really feel like... Like, they might be in on it just to get his life insurance money. I mean, who knows? Thankfully for us, we're about, we're about to find out. Things are about to get spicier. Actually, I think it's the next house over there across. There we go. music playing meaning there's nothing to be investigating at the moment yes hello this is Patterson Ooh. is this about my husband we're investigating the incident ma'am I see come in won't you hmm she already looks guilty as hell <laughs> can you tell me what happened what's to tell he got hit by a car and now he's dead you don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here. I beg I... your pardon? You're going to have to run that one by us again, sister. It's OK, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. The owner of I the see bar. You're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. There we go. There we go. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. Lying. You expect me to believe that, Lorna. It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. <laughs> Nature of the argument. So they were about to get divorced? You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk? We were always arguing. So what? Um, so what? I need more information, damn it. It was a fucking knife. Admit it. You were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. Hmm. Partnership with Leroy Sabo. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? 
I have a little money saved away. Yeah, my ass. You're being economical with the truth, Lorna. <laughs> you want to back that up, little man? Oh, hell yeah, little, little sister. I've got a fucking insurance letter. You increased the premium on Lester's life insurance. GI insurance policies have a $10,000 payout. It was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crap games, peanut, all you name it. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. You're forgetting the hit and run detective. We got it right. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. <clears throat> now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. <laughs> At all. <laughs> Sons of bitches. You'll get what's coming to you. And don't make me come back here before I rob your house. And play the bad cop. You understand me? And don't you close that door on me. <laughs> yep. Made you open up the door. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now we have a phone here. I don't I don't think we need to use it. So we're just going to go here. We're going to go to our next destination. And uh locations. Let's go to the Shelton residence. There we go. Straight over. <clears throat> I should have used the phone just to see if we got anything. <clears throat> How convenient. These guys actually live close to one another. Is that the red car? Yes, it is. Look at, yep, look at the front bumper. All banged up, too. He's probably gonna, t oh. He's probably gonna spill the beans. Look at him trying to leave and everything. Oh. Mr. Hit and Run, how are you? A Lincoln that indeed. Son of a bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelby. Yo. <laughs> that coward thinks he can run from everything. <laughs> that coward thinks he can run from everything. <laughs> because I hit and run, get it? All right, here we go, guys. <clears throat> here we go. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. I'm sorry. I, 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 I know LAPD officers are sworn to protect the citizens of LA, but uh, come on now. What do you want me to do? I wonder he killed someone driving like this. Lay into his wheel arches. <laughs> come on. Hold on, man. Oh, Don't God, that shit. Asshole, get away. I gotta hit him. There we go. Almost out. He's almost out. Where's the damn nitrous when you need some, huh? <laughs> All right, I give up. Yeah, that's right. You better give up. Cuff member done. Now you want to give up, huh? Put your hands in the air. How does a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton? I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is going to love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. 
Okay, so now we're gonna get info from this guy. You think Mal is done with the autopsy? Better call it in and check, Phelps. Between the driver and the widow, I say we start dealing with the facts. Let's see what happens if we use the phone here. Oh, we gotta use it anyways. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bar here. See if I can use a phone. There we go. I wasn't able to use the phones outside, so I had to use Operator, this one. Message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Oh. Thanks, man. <laughs> Let's go, boys. This case is about to be cracked. So, actually, uh, I had a little bit of issue after I stopped this guy. I couldn't freaking use any of the phones outside. And then I came to find that I had to use the one inside, like, a residence or something. So, let's go. Right. Go right. All right, go right. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me. Left here. Left, right. Dude, are Straight you gonna through the next intersection? Are you gonna tell me to go right and then make a left? What's wrong with you? Right through. I'm gonna keep going straight. Straight ahead here. Guys, we're about to pop the case. Again, I do believe that both Lorna and Leroy are They are guilty. I do believe so. I go left just now. Wholeheartedly believe so. Straight through the next intersection. I think we're here. Los Angeles County Morgue. Central Morgue at 926 AM. Look at the ambulance, dude. It's crazy, huh? They don't talk about other people. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? <laughs> Long, sharp knife. Length oh, I just did. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there, and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. We have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Dude. Let's bring her in. I survived the war for this. All right. Well, looks like we've got ourselves a case here, ladies and gentlemen. Not too shabby. All right, so we're going to go inside. I knew it, bro. I knew they were going to use that freaking insurance money. Got to go back to the Patterson res residence. As I was saying, if you're taking the next right. I knew they were going to use that uh that insurance money to open up another bar. Next right. It just it, it, it seems so obvious, you know? I'm going to keep going straight make a Take right the at the next, next right. intersection. Excuse me, boys. Keep going on this road. Go straight through here. I'm make a left right here. Take a left. Look at them turns. I I've been saying this since day one. This game plays really good like the driving in this game is super fun was the house here was the next one right <laughs> yeah i think they left or is she still here she's still here spoken to the coroner mrs patterson he confirmed your husband's cause of death we'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions it wasn't me it was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. 
You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down, Leroy. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. All that whispering in my ear telling me how we had to get rid of him, how good it could be, wow. all the money we could claim, all that planning, how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you had Leroy, all shut the up. Bases covered, baby. <laughs> you think I'm gonna fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him for God's sake. It's too late, oh. Sabo. Oh. oh my god. No way. Look, these guys going on a rampage. Sabo, stop or I will could shoot. Be a heel, but that's a lousy way for anyone to go out. Dude, what a scumbag. I had a feeling. I had a feeling they were both up to something. I kind of feel like, you know, I don't want to say I don't want to be a dick, but I feel like she deserved it because I'm pretty sure she was planning it all along. She got her husband killed anyways. Fucking insurance so money. So I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how a good detective <laughs> operates. We got folks. everything correct in this one, by the way. at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. I feel bad for my partner because he never gets any of the credit, unfortunately. But I think that's the first case that we do, that we get every single thing correct. Clues found 9 out of 9. 9 out of 9. Questions correct. 10 out of 10. Passed with flying colors. Except the injuries and the city damage. That, that's okay. Another visit to raise, and you would have had seen what Leroy was prepared to do to avoid jail. That's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more LA Noir, drop it a like, and hopefully I'll catch you guys later.